A Jamaican-American businesswoman is throwing her hat in the ring to take down AOC in 2020. One of America's Ryan Gurdusky caught up with the Republican candidate and has this. Sheree, why did you decide to run for Congress? Thank you for having me uh, here today, Ryan. I decided to run because this is an important race. We have a crisis in Queens and the Bronx, and that crisis is AOC. I'd like to bring um, a, a more mild-mannered approach into the district in terms of policy positions, articulating for the constituents, not so much seeking the limelight on the national stage, but really focusing on policy. Um, and I'd love to roll those out, that out as we roll out our campaign over the next coming weeks. So Ryan. two of the biggest policy positions that nationally are known about AOC is the Green New Deal and her push to kick out Amazon out of New York. Correct. Speaking on Amazon, how do voters feel? How, what did that do to New Yorkers? Well, 25,000 uh, jobs was taken away uh, to uh, the, the state of New York. And it's interesting that she took credit for moving such a, an economic uh, boost uh, out of the district. And that's one of the reasons why I'm in this race, because we we need economic uh, stimulation back into New York State. We need to drive businesses back into the state, not push them out, Ryan. And you mentioned the Green New Deal, the job-killing Green New Deal. Uh, that policy does nothing but take money out of the pockets of the constituents in Queens and the Bronx. That's important to note that when you put policy forward, it has to benefit uh, the electorate. And those policies that we've seen so far in the freshman uh, congresswoman's tenure is, has done nothing but um, really uh, point to the national stage of her uh, intent to just rise to stardom, but really miss the, the bullet on connecting with the constituents in the district. So if elected, what policies would you champion if you were in Congress? So absolutely, comprehensive immigration reform is something I would love to tackle, work with the president in putting that policy forward. Also, uh, infrastructure. Our, we need resiliency here in New York. We need to make sure that New York can withstand, uh, especially we had a, a blackout in the last Last couple of weeks. We need to make sure that our rails are functioning properly, our roads are smooth. Uh, the president wants to work with uh, infrastructure, and I think it's important that we bring a legislator to the table who can work with the president on those issues. And you mentioned education, your yes, commercial. Yes, absolutely. What absolutely. points of education? School choice, uh, specifically. Uh, right now, as a mom, uh, I'm facing an advocacy issue with regards to education where, uh, in a few years, the there's no middle school for students in the charter school network system. And so I would encourage uh, perhaps the governor of New York State and the uh, mayor of New York City to raise the cap on charter schools as the charter school network system is stifling right now. So those are some of the three policy platforms that I would love to roll out as we continue on the campaign trail, Ryan. Well, Sheree, thank you for speaking to One American News about this. Thank you for having me. I just want to direct all of your, your viewers to my website. They can learn a little bit more about my campaign and about my platform. Sheree, Murray.com. So join us and thank you for the opportunity. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.